Cultural Arts and the City of Murfreesboro welcome you to the exhibit of Sight and Sound, the Rotunda's first 2021 offering. It's called The Nurture of Nature, Restoration from the Outside In, and it features three local artists. All have a love of the beauty of nature and a strong desire to reflect it in the body of their work. Our first artist is Carol Burning. She is the artist in resident for 2021 at the Stones River National Battlefield. I'm Carol Burning, and um, I included primarily paintings from Middle Tennessee in this exhibit. Um, they, many of them came from my backyard, uh, but some of them came from other parts of Tennessee, but I believe they were all Tennessee paintings and most of the Middle Tennessee paintings of nature, whether animals or landscapes or still life of landscapes. Well, about 15 years ago, my husband was out of town because he was taking care of his father who was ill. And I didn't have to cook or clean house because there was nobody here but me. And I said, I think I'll teach myself to paint. And so I really got serious about it then. But I will have to say that um, a, a childhood friend of mine told me several months ago that she remembered that when we were all getting together, our families were getting together, that I was sitting over in the corner uh, coloring while everybody else was playing kick the tin can and Red Rover and that sort of thing. So um, I guess my origins began much earlier than I really thought, but I only started painting about 15 years ago. My technique is quite varied. Some of the paintings that you'll see in the exhibit are done in plein air, which means that I uh, painted outside um, in the elements. Some of them were as a result of my um, experience at the Stones River National Battlefield, where I was the artist in residence for two weeks. Um, as I said, some of them were in my backyard. So many of them are painted from life uh, on location outside. Um, some of them are just inspired from the things around me. Like I have a, I have a pastel painting of um, a chicken feather from one of my backyard chickens. So um, I have a variety of oils and pastels in the uh, exhibit. I really know very little about pastel painting, but I play. Actually, that's what I do with oils too. I play. I think art is important to our community because it reflects maybe what's going on in the community. Um, some of my paintings, not necessarily in this exhibit, but some of my paintings that I've done are um, reflective of social issues. Um, and But it's also important because it provides uh, peace, um, it, especially with this exhibit. I, I hope that people will take away a feeling of peace and calm and comfort, which we definitely need in this time, because all of these paintings that are in this exhibit are, um, I, I think, are peaceful and calm and uh, nurturing. Primarily from what's around me uh, is where I draw my inspiration. I, um, I'm always doing sketches and uh, paintings and of my mother, um, who's a great inspiration. I, I'm not sure how many paintings I've done of her. Many, many, many. Um, interestingly enough, I have a terrible time getting a good likeness of her. I don't know if it's because I know her so well or why, but I, I struggle with getting a likeness. But I'm inspired by her. I'm inspired by the um, my surroundings. 
um, whether it's my husband's junk cars that fill the pasture or whether it's the chickens or uh, whether it's a sunset or whether it's a back alley. Um, a couple of years ago, some friends and I got together and we painted in the back alley um, off of um, downtown Murfreesboro. So um, it just, I would say my surroundings. And as I said earlier, I'm also inspired to paint as a result of social issues that I um, am aware of. Indian Creek um, is a place in Hardin County, Tennessee, uh, kind of the southwest of here. Um, it is where my ancestors lived for at least a generation. Um, and I'm very interested in genealogy. And so uh, we, mother and I, and, and my husband have visited Indian Creek several times um, and in fact I've I've met new Goldsmith cousins and we we met um, at Indian Creek in Hardin County um, and many of my ancestors some of my ancestors are buried in a spot that's right near where that creek is they owned land bordering that creek and uh, so on one of our visits there, well, every time we visit, I take photographs of the place. And I did that pastel uh, from one of the photographic references that I had made. Um, it, um, it's just a beautiful spot. And I had so much fun doing it in pastel and doing all those wild and crazy marks with, with those with those pastels, I felt, I guess I felt like I was that little girl again, sitting in the corner drawing. <laughs> um, and I, I wasn't, um, I wasn't mixing paint and uh, worrying so much about um, how to mix the paints. I was just picking up a pastel and making some marks and it was a lot of fun to do. The other painting that I have in this exhibit um, is white-tailed deer. And uh, we, we live in the country. We live in the, a rural area in the Las Casas area and see lots of deer. And one morning I was driving down our road and this beautiful whitetail stepped out of the woods and just stood there and watched as I, as I went by. And I was able to grab my phone and take a quick picture and and do a painting from it. The, the, the reference photo obviously wasn't very great because it was just a quick thing and you know the color wasn't there necessarily, but I had so much fun adding pinks and blues and purples and even yellows to that deer. Um, and uh, so that's, that's one of my favorite pieces, just uh, again, when I paint, I have fun, I experiment. The next featured artist is Justina Kaskowska. She is an English studies professor at MTSU and we hope you enjoy meeting her. I'm Justina Kaskowska and my um, uh, paintings in the exhibit are mostly pastels. Um, there are probably one or two oils but um, the pastels were my earliest passion and um, that's the most of the paintings in they are nature scenes of course because that's what the, the exhibit's uh, theme is my parents always collected so i had original pieces hanging on the walls walking around the house as a toddler i remember dad um, Whenever he got a paycheck, he came home with a painting. And um, I would just uh, you know, absorb that energy. But very uh, many decades later, I realized that paintings are not just to look at, but perhaps maybe I could make one. And um, that's how it started. I started with painting my mother, uh, which was my most, something closest to my heart, the subject closest to my heart. So I started with portraits. 
of somebody who was pretty critical of what I was doing. So started the hard way. So the pastels are very airy, very fragile, which is why they need to be under glass. But their um, claim to fame is that they hover over the paper and they are the brightest pigments available uh, because oil paint dulls the, the same pigment a little bit because it has a medium. Uh, pastels have, the best pastels have very little medium in it, a binder it's called, um, and their colors are just so vivid and they need to be protected, of course, um, by glass and from sunlight. I want to say, say nature, of course, but that's pretty much what I have in common with all painters that ever were alive. Um, <clears throat> and uh, sometimes um, I don't respond to a na nature scene fast enough and uh, it disappears and when I come back to it, it's not there anymore. So that urgency, I have to remind myself that something in nature is not to be taken for granted. It will not always be there. So at least take a picture of it. I take a picture of it um, if I can't just sit and paint it. So that's a perfect example of a scene that's disappeared um, and I was so glad that I captured it. Um, um, this is close to my the house that I grew up in, in Poland. And um, those are wild grasses. They grew so tall, the city didn't cut that part of the, um, uh, of the area. And um, I went there several times a day and the color of the grasses was different. It was pink in the evening. Uh, before the sunset and it was blue in the morning. So the one in the exhibit is the blue uh, version of, um, of that scene. And now when I go back there, it's been cut and it doesn't exist anymore. So I am very glad that, that I appreciated it while it was still there. Well, this is, um, this is connected to my neighborhood in Murfreesboro, actually. Across the street, there was this beautiful crab apple tree, very old. Um, they don't look very pretty because their glory is when they bloom. Um, and um, the house changed hands um, and the person who bought it um, cut the tree down. And I was so upset about it. I wanted to run over there and say, wait till the spring to see what it can do don't look at it now it was fall wait give it a chance but of course it was too late so i got so upset about it that i started painting um blooming trees especially crab apples um and that's the the genesis of that painting i especially like it because it's a cloudy scene the sky is really gray so i wanted no distraction from the trees i wanted the trees to be the the thing that makes the painting so not to distract from any anything else but the tree there is an energy in a, an original piece that cannot be obtained from a poster from a photo of a of a of a piece until you actually own the smallest you can afford piece of original art, you don't know what the difference is. And I think people, even they don't collect or are not in the market to buy, appreciate that energy. It's impossible to describe until you actually um, experience it. That's why we have museums. That's why we have art exhibits. That, that's why we have our art crawl, which is Murfreesboro, such a wonderful contribution to the community because people can simply see and, and absorb, absorb what art does. Our final artist is Pamela Mack. 
She once owned Block Studio, a salon downtown, so many of you may already know her, but she's now a professional artist. We hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Pamela Mack, and I'm one of the three artists that are featured in this um, show at the Rotunda right now. Uh, I have a few still lifes in there, which are something I enjoy doing, uh, but they were all inspired by nature and all my plein airs were inspired by nature, all the outdoor paintings. Um, this has been a, a good time to do this with the pandemic going on and just, you know, I live out in the country and I was able to get outside and you know, it was fun. I enjoyed doing it and I'm really excited about being able to participate. The thing that got me inspired into doing artwork was a good friend of mine that I worked at at a salon that I had for several years in Murfreesboro. And she was always interested in art and she talked me into attending a class with her. And I was 50 years old and didn't think art was for me, but I fell in love and I thank her every day for getting me interested in this. I love it. I paint with oil and, and pretty much that's all. I, I jumped right into oils and haven't experimented a whole lot with watercolor or acrylic or some of the other mediums out there. But I, I thoroughly, I, I like what I can do with the oil. And um, it, I like the, I do a lot of my work is with a brush, but I also do a lot of palette knife painting, which is fun. It, it's where you apply the paint with a, palette knife and you're able to get a much thicker and uh, it, it's just a real uh, impulsive kind of painting, if that makes sense. Um, and I, I love, love, love color. So everything I paint has lots of color in it. Uh, I do a lot of my backgrounds in orange and I, I just, I, I love that. It makes me feel good. I like to look at color and I hope, I think a lot of other people do too. Nature in all its glory is one of my still lifes. And I just, I fell in love with it. I had so much fun painting that. All the flowers, it's a, it's a fairly large painting with lots of flowers in it. And it also has some vegetables in it that I grew in my garden. And I mean, what's prettier than flowers and vegetables? <laughs> it's just, uh, I'm able to use all the colors that I love. Um, and I, that painting, I did a lot of palette knife work on and a lot of loose brush work, which I find is really the style I'm, I'm most enjoy doing and most intrigued by. Um, but nature in its glory, it, it just, it was really a fun painting. And the whole time I was painting it was fun. And then when I got done, I was happy. So it was a success. It is a painting of the fall colors and a fence line behind my house here. I can sit on my back porch and see it. And I have a particular uh, fondness of this area out here where I live. I, it's where my grandparents lived and on this same piece of land. And I feel real connected to them. And just sitting back there on the back porch and thinking about when I was a young girl out here, and watching the seasons pass through, it, that's just so much fun. But of course, fall presents all those glorious colors. And I took a lot of liberty with this painting and used a lot of color in it. Maybe not all the color that I really saw, but uh, it was fun. And it, it, I really like that painting. It's, um, it's a feel good painting as most of my paintings are. I, yeah, I like that. If they, make, if they make me feel good, I hope they make somebody else feel good. Art is important to the community for lots of reasons. Uh, you know, I think as ch kids, we, we are interested in art. And then somehow, as we get a little older, you know, we, we're more timid about putting ourselves out there and, 
uh, you we compare ourselves to somebody else's abilities and and it just we take the joy out of it and we we forget how to see that's one thing that when i started painting later in life i i had a renewed sense of how everything looked around me it was i saw things that after a while you know you think you know what a tree looks like and you know what a cloud looks like and you know what a person looks like a good friend even somebody real close to you but you start painting and you're like oh wow i hadn't seen that or oh wow look at the color there yeah you just it's just so much fun it's so inspiring and i think it's it's an important part of our community because we all need to be inspired and and it'll make us take care of our environment. I, I think if we are inspired to paint outside, we'll we'll want to, you know, protect the planet. And to me, that's real important. And um, if we don't protect it, it can't protect us. And art's just, I don't know, it's, it's just really important in my life. And I think it's, I think once somebody has the opportunity to delve into that side of their, you know, abilities, it, it's just, it's so much fun. You don't have to be, you know, a Leonardo da Vinci. You can, it, it, art is just fun and it comes in all shapes and forms. Don't miss the beautiful naturalistic artwork and sensory experience here at the Rotunda through the month of February. Be sure to stop by between 8 and 4.30, Monday through Friday through February 25th at City Hall. We hope to see you here.